Welcome to Pakistan, Tiger. What's up guys? So brand new affordable projector has arrived on our desk. This is the Eto E3 Pro Android TV projector. Now this projector is priced around 299 and for that low price you get a native full HD resolution with HDR10. This can also decode 4K and is running official Android TV. So really excited to put this one to the test to find out exactly how good it is. Now first of all let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. All right, so check it out guys. We have a carrying case included as standard with the projector inside. We've got paperwork, quick start guide, user manual, power cable, a power supply, and here is a close up of the voltage information. And then we have that carrying case with the projector inside. Now let's quickly go over the specs. So this is an LED projector. Lamp life is 160,000 hours. Brightness is 600 ANSI lumens. We have a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. This does support HDR10 and can decode 4K. You've got 5 GHz Wi-Fi with built-in Bluetooth 5.1 and this is running Android TV version 11. We've got autofocus and auto keystone correction. The maximum optimal screen size is around 150 inches. This supports HDMI 2.1 and you have 2 times 10 watt speakers built in. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is test out that fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 41 decibels. Now if we move back one meter, the fan noise drops down to around 36 decibels. All right, so the projector's all set up. We are around two and a half meters away from the wall in front of us, and we're projecting just over 100 inches. Projection quality at this stage looks pretty good. This is, of course, Android TV OS version 11. Most of us will be familiar with this OS from the Nvidia Shield TV and the Xiaomi. TV boxes and Netflix, YouTube and Amazon Prime Video all come pre-installed. We are of course going to test them a bit later to see if they actually work. All right so in YouTube I want to quickly test out the voice search functions. So here we go. 4K video. All right here are some videos. Okay so to do a voice search you have to keep the mic button pressed. So let's start off with Costa Rica demo and then we'll move on to some trailers etc. And just to confirm, maximum streaming quality supported on YouTube is 4K60, but we don't have an option for HDR. Alright, just paused it on the lizard. Um, I do want to talk about the volume as well. Volume is on halfway and it's crystal clear, no distortion at all. So going forward in the next trailers coming up, we're going to have the volume set to max to see how it handles. Mr. Lizard is looking really sharp. The brightness is no doubt really good. If we go in for a close up, there is no pixelation up close and the overall image does look in focus. All four corners are looking sharp and clear. Now let me switch on the light and show you what daytime uh, projection looks like. So with the light on, you can still see everything on the screen, but it's obviously not as clear and not as prominent as it was before. If you want to enjoy your home cinema projector, you need to switch that light off so you guys can see the difference. Now let's go ahead and play a few more trailers. However long it takes. Just going to pause it right there. The sound quality is loud. Um, it, no distortion even at maximum volume. I'm going to go ahead and turn that volume down now because it's just not required in this room. I'm going to leave it halfway. Halfway is very reasonable. Um, and let's go ahead and play a few more trailers. Let me put my kid down. Clean up on aisle six. What, you shot one guy and you stabbed another? 
What the hell are you going to think of next? Well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Welcome to Pakistan, Tiger. You give me Jesus of Nazareth, I will let you walk free. And I will give you power, wealth. Papa. Okay, so Netflix comes pre-installed and if I open it up, I can confirm that Netflix HD is supported. Okay, so we're connected to the PlayStation 5. I've gone into settings and we're checking out the current video output signal. And you can see the video resolution is 1080p at 60 hertz. And I can also confirm that HDR is not supported. Let's check out some gameplay. <laughs> What are these fighters going to do? Lots of aggression from both sides. For this one. Right, early round action here. What do you think of Kobe was pretty telling this weekend so far as he talked a lot. He's hurt. He's hurt. So quite a unique compact design of this projector. On top you can see some navigational controls, power button and a back button. We've got a caution sticker over here which says make sure there are no obstacles within 30 seconds. In other words, keep this well ventilated, don't block any of the vents. Now on the front you can see the lens and there is no lens cover included. We've got a sensor here for your autofocus and auto keystone correction. On the sides we have nothing, so both sides there's nothing. On the back you've got all your ports, so we've got power socket, a full size USB-A port for multimedia playback. We've got an HDMI port, infrared port and we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Now over here it says TV and there is an up arrow with a groove, so that should come off. Oh interesting. So we've got a mini TV box already installed for you. I just wanted to disconnect this and get a closer look. Basically a small Android TV box. You've got an adhesive on the back so that it actually sticks. Micro USB port on the side and we've got what looks like a micro HDMI port. You've got your connections on both sides. Micro HDMI and your mini USB port on this side. Okay and put the cover back on. Now let me quickly show you guys the bottom of the projector. You can see we've got one quarter inch tripod thread so you could hook this up to a tripod or even a universal ceiling mount. Let's quickly head over to the main system settings. Go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. So we've got 16 gigs of internal storage. From that you can see we've got 13 gigs free to use. And if we go into about we'll have a quick look at the firmware version. So you can see it's Android TV OS version 11 and you've got the kernel and build numbers etc. Now quick mention of the remote control, it's very responsive. It is of course a Bluetooth remote. You don't need to aim at the projector and you've got greater operating distance because this is a Bluetooth remote. Now on the remote, if we tap the projector button in the middle, it will bring up projector settings and some connection sources like HDMI and USB. So if we open up the settings first of all and select projector settings, We've got zoom, so the image can be zoomed right down. So if you've got a small room and the wall is not big enough and the screen starts overlapping the ceiling, then you can shrink the image size. And of course, we don't have that issue here, so we don't really need uh, to shrink the image. We've got focus settings, so it's set on 
autofocus. So when you power on, it will automatically focus, or if you move the projector, it will automatically refocus. Collaboration settings, you can collaborate things. You can do a keystone benchmark correction. You've got four point correction as well. So if the automatic keystone correction is not satisfactory, you can adjust things manually and all four corners can be adjusted. And I do want to quickly show you the auto keystone in action. So if we, we bring it towards the right and the image has been corrected. So this projector has automatic keystone correction, both horizontal or vertical. Next to projector settings, we have something called other settings. When you tap it, it gives you screensaver options. You can have a screensaver video. It will let you select a number of videos and this is video with audio. Um, you've got screensaver timeout, shutdown, 15, 30, 45, 60, all the way to 120 minutes. We've got language settings and I'll quickly show you what languages we have. And I'll just skim through them, you guys can read. There are <laughs> quite a few languages, guys. Okay, so that's all of them. Go back to the top. Then we've got restore factory settings and under about, it just gives you the information on the system version and the system temperatures. So that was the main projector settings, but on the remote, you will see a button on the left. If you tap that, you will see a menu appear from the left and that will give you a few more options to play around with. So you've got image mode where you've got some presets so standard and you can see it change in real time, soft and personal. So you can actually fine tune things to your own personal preference. I think standard and light are pretty good. I'll leave it on light. Color temperature can also be adjusted from cold, normal, warm and personal. And I'm going to leave it on normal. Sound mode, you have some presets, standard music, movie, and again, personal, so you can fine tune and customize. Aspect ratio is set to 69. And then you've got something called projector settings, which gives you a quick preset to zoom in and out. And you've got some manual controls for vertical and horizontal keystone correction. So quite action packed there with the settings. Now let's head over to YouTube and play a bunch of trailers and see how this thing actually performs. So there you have it, guys. That was the Ito E3 Pro. And here are my thoughts. So this is a budget projector priced under 300 and has official Android TV version 11. The brightness and performance of this projector is pretty good. Internal speakers were also great quality and the fan noise is on the lower side. The only letdown is the 4K decoding. PS5 supported 1080p without HDR and could not decode 4K with the PS5. Nevertheless, for the price, this is a pretty decent performing projector. Movies and games look great, PS5 games played very well with no noticeable latency issues. So to sum this one up, here is my top video projection chart for 2023. And I've ranked this at position 17 on this chart based on the projection features and the overall picture quality. Now, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything specific you want me to test, then do let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.